What's up guys? I'm DK Wrestler and today we're continuing to talk about CCX Holy New No Way Hole Pops are here? Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Where's the notification bell? It's to the right of you. Oh. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new set of Spider-Man No Way Home Funko Pops. And originally, we are going to talk about more about CCXP, but we got bigger fish to fry with this brand new set of Spider-Man No Way Home Pops because there is a ton of stuff to talk about. So we're going to go through these by each of the photos that were provided by Funko on their social media platforms. So the first photo we are going to be looking at here for the Spider-Man No Way Home Pops are all exclusive pops, which first on the top left, we have an unmasked Tom Holland Spider-Man, obviously, that's going to be a Funko Shop exclusive. That looks pretty decent. I really like the scruffiness of his hair along with the kind of scars that are going on in the face. That's obviously near the end of the movie. We got ourselves an unmasked, what they're calling Amazing Spider-Man, obviously being the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, going to be a previews exclusive where he has the mask hanging out of the mouth. And I really like that pose. And you can definitely tell with the head sculpt there that it definitely is Andrew Garfield compared to Tom Holland or Tobey Maguire in this case, which I really do enjoy. And speaking of Tobey Maguire and what they're calling the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, we have a metallic version that's going to be a Hot Topic exclusive. Don't know how I feel about the pop being metallic, but we are going to talk about regular versions in a little bit. We got ourselves here a metallic green goblin for this set, which is a box lunch exclusive. And I mean, getting Green Goblin in Funko Pop form in this version for the movies is really, really awesome. I've been waiting for that for a very long time, especially being a fan of those original Spider-Man trilogy movies with Tobey Maguire and seeing this Green Goblin is awesome. The metallic effect definitely makes sense for the outfit of the Green Goblin. And I mean, I might have to cop for this pop, honestly. And then the last pop for this page, we have ourselves Ned with Doctor Strange cape which is going to be a Walmart exclusive. And I mean, I remember these scenes in Spider-Man No Way Home, and I mean, they were pretty entertaining. And I mean, getting another Ned Pop, this is not a bad way to have another Ned Pop that isn't obviously the regular ones we had gotten in that original wave of No Way Home Pops work. They couldn't really reveal much because obviously they didn't want to spoil the scenes involving the Spider-Mans and the villains. And then people talking about how it took so long is because of the fact that legally, Marvel would not let companies like Funko, Hasbro, and Mattel release figures on these until way after the movie comes out and they wanted a 2023 release date. On the next photo we're going to be looking at is obviously all three versions of Spider-Man in a three pack that will be exclusive to Amazon. This is something that people have been wanting since the movie came out and obviously when people seen this scene it was very highly speculated that Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, and Tom Holland would be involved in this movie and people have been wanting a three pack and we got it here. If you're a fan of obviously all three of the Spider-Man and the scenes involved, this is definitely a three pack to get. I mean, I love the differences that you can tell that it is the three different Spider-Mans, especially when you have the regular Tom Holland Spider-Man of today with the way the eyes are in the outfit. You got the Andrew Garfield, or as they're calling it, Amazing Spider-Man pop in the middle with the big eyes. And then of course that classic outfit that Tobey Maguire wore for this pop being the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I mean, these are all three great Spider-Man pops. And if you're gonna get all three, don't get the singular ones, just get the three pack exclusive to Amazon. Speaking of huge multi-packs, right here we have ourselves a eight pack that's going to be exclusive to Walmart, which features the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, the amazing Spider-Man, the regular Spider-Man, Doc Ock, Electro, the Lizard, Unmasked Green Goblin, and the Sandman. And I mean, this is a crazy eight pack. And normally I don't like seeing the repurposed commons, I guess, because we are gonna talk about commons on some of the villains in a little bit. But this definitely makes sense because of the big scene near the end of the movie where the three Spider-Mans face all of the different villains from the different Spider-Man universes. And this is actually going to be, so far, the only way that you can obtain the Lizard and the Sandman because there aren't singular pops made yet for these villains, which we will talk about the singular pops for Doc Ock, Electro, and that Unmasked Green Goblin in a little bit. But, I mean, 
this is a great way to kind of commemorate that scene. And especially if you don't want to get the singular pops or the entire set, this is the way to do it with these eight pops all together and you can basically save a little bit of money. There's also some pop keychains involved with this set but we are not going to talk about the pop keychains just because we're not really into pop keychains here on the channel. But we will move on to now the three Spider-Mans that are the commons. And I mean, this definitely makes sense. I know I just talked about why get the singular pops when you can get the multi-packs, but there is obviously a huge divide when it comes to these Spider-Man movies on what people believe is the better Spider-Man. There are people like myself who grew up watching the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies and would prefer Tobey Maguire much better than, let's say, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, which there are a lot of people who debate that that's the better Spider-Man. And of course, people really liking Tom Holland's Spider-Man. So some people might not like Tobey Maguire. Some people might not like Andrew Garfield. Having all three of these commons as singular pops definitely makes sense. And I mean, for me, I might actually be buying the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man just because I've been waiting for that for a while, especially for hopefully there would have been pops for the original Spider-Man trilogy movies. I mean, it looks great. It's on the stance and I really like the posing that it's in. And to me, I think all three of these Spider-Mans though have different qualities to what makes them good. And I mean, if you like all three of these, you might as well get that three pack. But if you're very picky as terms to the Spider-Mans, then obviously the singular pops would work out for you. The next set of comments we're gonna be looking at are the villain comments, which we have Doc Ock, Electro, and the Unmasked Green Goblin. And I mean, Doc Ock, played by Alfred Molina, really cool that he finally gets his own Funko Pop here with this version. And I mean, really awesome. I love the detail with the glasses and obviously the mechanical tentacles, I guess I would say. Really, really awesome. Electro is pretty decent. And I mean, Electro here, I think we can all agree, looks much better in Spider-Man No Way Home than he did in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And then the Unmasked Green Goblin is wicked. And I liked the idea of Green Goblin being mostly unmasked throughout the movie because of the fact that William Dafoe, who plays Green Goblin, has such amazing facial expressions that it would have been weird to have him have the mask on for this movie. And you did get to see that throughout the movie of how great he was here with his facial expressions. And I think my only gripe about this pop is because William Defoe has great facial expressions. I wish this would have been the case where they added some sort of mouth to the pop. The next set of comments we have here, we got ourselves obviously the regular Spider-Man or current Spider-Man, I guess I should start calling it. MJ and Doctor Strange. This kind of goes towards like the beginning of the movie where obviously uh, Spider-Man and Doctor Strange, they're fighting over that cube that MJ has in her hand and they end up in like the multiverse kind of going on. You guys seen that scene, you guys know what I'm talking about. And I really enjoy the pops that are here. I mean, I'm not surprised we have another MJ. I don't even remember how many MJs there were in that first wave and if there wasn't any, obviously now there's one. So that's really cool that we have it here. The Spider-Man is also pretty decent right here as the singular version. And then we have Doctor Strange who did play a pretty decent role in Spider-Man No Way Home. So obviously there had to have been at least another Funko Pop for the No Way Home set. And then last but not least, we have ourselves another TargetCon 2023 early reveal and it is a Diamond Collection Spider-Man Pop and T bundle. This was a little bit random. I'm surprised that we're getting TargetCon early reveals. We already actually got one uh, a couple of months ago or maybe it was only a month ago with the House of the Dragon. That one dragon is getting a TargetCon early reveal or being a TargetCon exclusive, but it was an early reveal. And now we have a Spider-Man No Way Home Pop now confirmed for TargetCon 2023, which would be happening at the end of February when I believe all of these pops are expected to release. So I guess it is perfect timing. I mean, with Pop and Tea bundles now, 
I'm not entirely a big fan of the way that the boxes are because I remember back in the day when the boxes used to look cool instead of just, you know, just a rectangular box with the window to show the pop, which I mean, it's understandable in case people didn't really know about pop and tea bundles, but at the same time, Boxes used to be so cool with pop and tea bundles. I wish they kind of went down that route, but still add that aspect, obviously, of the window being on the pop. I think the best part of this has to be the t-shirt. I really like the popified Spider-Man with the city in the background and obviously the name of Spider-Man across the t-shirt. And being a diamond collection pop, that's a little random. Anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video on the brand new Spider-Man No Way Home Funko Pops, make sure you smash that like button. Comment in the comment section below and let me know your favorite pop as terms to the Spider-Man No Way Home set. And as said in the little intro, make sure you press the subscribe button for more content like this video in the future and press the little bell beside it to be notified of when that future content gets released. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's video and hope to see you guys next time one two three i'm out of here follow us on all of our social media platforms on facebook twitter and instagram at a funko podcast if you want to check out some of our other content that's featured on our channel you can click either the playlist that's on your screen right now featuring previous episodes of our weekly podcast a funko podcast or we have suggested a video for you guys in relation to today's video 